Greetings comrades, um, Comrade Dina just uh, requested of me a video review of uh, History of the Russian Revolution by Leon Trotsky. I don't actually have my um, copy here, uh, but it's a truly massive book um, by the standards that I'm used to reading anyway. Uh, 1,200 pages. And um, though I wouldn't consider myself a Trotskyist, um, you know, I have an interest in Trotsky's ideas and, you know, hearing his side of the story. Um, and he successfully, I think, of course, he can't hide the fact that he was a participant, that he was a partisan. But he writes in the third person and um, he shows a very rich picture of what's going on at all stages of the revolution. It begins with him basically describing the Russian ruling class, the kind of, he describes in great detail um, the Tsar and his wife, um, the kind of the people that they hung around, their sort of attitudes, what they were like, um, how they fought, their kind of their backgrounds and all this stuff, in very rich detail and kind of really sets up the scene nicely. Um, and he draws on uh, so many different sources from this, uh, newspapers, interviews, uh, you know, quickly scrawled notes, people's diaries, everything he can get a hold of. And from the day of the February uprising all the way to the day of the, uh, the Congress of the Soviets and the October Revolution, he paints a very vivid picture of what's going on. And he he'll retell different parts of the story from different angles <clears throat> um, and it's a very exciting read you know I found myself uh, really just glued to the book and reading through the story because it's the most it completely changed the way I actually pictured and the way I conceptualized the concept of a revolution um, and totally blew my mind in that respect uh, just kind of every little detail going from, you know, uh, drawing on a peasant who was present at a meeting in, I don't know, uh, in his little village Soviet to uh, people walking down the, uh, what they call the, Ju the July days, you know, just the detail is so spectacular in it all the way through. It's really great. And of course, he, um, there are a few barbs at Stalin. I think he, uh, he criticises Stalin's take on the national question, and I think he kind of trumps up his theory of um, permanent revolution and things like this. Um, and he takes a lot of time praising Lenin unabashedly. Now, there's much praiseworthy about Lenin, but what I would have liked to have, you know, seen is some of the things that Lenin did wrong. Um, you know, he explains how limited he was. He was, you know, a lot of the time he was hiding in Finland. He was underground. Um, there are actually, it kind of, it's quite stunning actually how few public appearances Lenin actually made throughout the whole event. He comes in um, in the sealed train of some of his fellow revolutionaries who have travelled through um, Germany. Um, and he comes in and he gives, you know, this kind of really short but brief speech about, um, you know, uh, today is the first day we are the, uh, the vanguard, the international proletarian, um, long live the uh, world revolution and stuff, and, you know, it's, it, it's little scenes like this, uh, another one, it's some other massive march they've done, I can't remember the date, you know, he comes out and he gives a speech, and, you know, in Trotsky's writing, the atmosphere is really caught on, especially the kind of the final scene um, of, you know, they've just, the right SRs and the Mensheviks have just pissed off and, you know, they've kind of, um, <laughs> there's this great little bit where Lenin's trying to read this decree on, a, I think it's land reform, and he can't read what he's written, they have to stop halfway through, and then there's this kind of majestic scene where they're kind of there. Uh, they're singing the international and Alexandra Kolontai's in tears and, you know, everyone's just ecstatic. And it's all, as well as, you know, um, after the kind of, after the crackdown by the government after the, the July days, you know, kind of the, uh, the sense of, like, unsureness and 
kind of hopelessness of the situation, and then everyone rallying around when Cornwall attempts his coup. Um, everything like that is just so rich, and it really puts you in the picture. Um, and in that regard, it's fantastic. As and he draws as well a lot, which is you know quite important. He draws a lot on what the bourgeois press is saying as well. He quotes that quite frequently, including he doesn't hesitate to um, quote. Uh, articles or speeches or whatever which are, you know, negative towards him. Um, you know, Tr Trotsky shows that he's not afraid of criticism. Um, you know, and he'll, you know, he'll say Stalin, he'll bring in some quote from Stalin, putting him down, or, you know, uh, some quote from the, uh, the cadets newspaper calling him a German spy, and he'll just kind of disregard it like a pithy remark and stuff like that. But uh, it's drawing on all these little, not only interviews from, you know, peasants and workers who were there at the time, um, quotes from the, or the biographies and the autobiographies of journalists, both on the left and the right, who were there, quotes from newspapers, quotes from foreign newspapers, all this. He brings it all together and he, he shows how it's all connected. Um, and w one thing that's very key about this book is he, um, the whole of course of the story makes you really understand why the Bolsheviks. Um, and it, it shows, uh, you know, how one after another, you know, the proletarian, they seize power in February and they, they hand it, they create the Soviets and they hand the power straight over to, you know, the provisional government as it was at that time, which is mostly, I believe, feature uh, mostly of the cadets. Um, and it shows, you know, how, how through their incompetence and their lack of courage and their unsureness and just how out of touch they were with the situation, um, how little they actually thought of the, the working classes, um, kind of led to their downfall and it kind of, it shows this breaking down, it shows the kind of, uh, the different figures, how they went from one disaster to the next and then it comes to the coalition where the, um, the social revolutionaries and the Mensheviks are drawn into power um, and they're taking part and how they just crumble and compromise and lick the boot of the power how they, they talk uh, about socialism and about revolution but at the same time they um, they aren't willing to go through with it and it shows the frustration and it kind of brings it to this it, it's very strange. It's a strange story. And it's you know, it's the reality of what really happened was that um, the it was a, the story was over long before the actual you know the ending. Um, you know, by the time uh, by the time the Bolsheviks actually officially seized power, knocked over Kerensky's government, um, and set up the Soviet government, they were already wildly popular, um, and all the all this stuff, it kind of, it brings in all these, you know, these different ideologies, and there's so much, so I, I really do recommend it, it's a fantastic book, um, it's very enjoyable, um, I think it would make a good mini-series, actually, <laughs> um, that might be an idea for one day, um, but yeah, I would recommend it to anyone, um, like I say, if you're a big Stalin fan, yeah, he, he puts Stalin down quite a lot, and he, uh, he does make a very ferocious point about Lenin, Lenin was critical of Stalin and Molotov's particular line uh, when they were running Pravda before he came back. Um, so yeah, you know, the, if I could describe this book in one word, uh, I would describe it as rich. It's uh, rich in knowledge, rich in quotes. Um, it's just, it's, it's very definitive. And it's, it's told from someone who is there. I mean, okay, obviously, if you're a massive anti-Trotskyist, you might believe that it's all propaganda. But um, for more open-minded comrades like myself, um, I would recommend this book. Um, you can get a hold of it. You can read it online. Um, I'll post a link to that on uh, marxist.org. Um, so if I had to give it out of 10, I'd give it a 8 out of 10. Um, that's very generous. So... Resolute comments.